Hello, I came here to tell you about how a project organize, uh, organization is formed uh, when the project organization includes multiple firms. Uh, this theme is kind of a connected to uh, buying project and sub projects uh, or procurement of sub projects, but uh, we are going to talk about buying and sub uh, and procurement of sub projects uh, later in in some other videos. However, now it's important to now understand again uh, these terms EPC and EPCM, which I explained in some of uh, the other videos also. In EPC, engineering procurement construction contracting form, uh, the contractor takes responsibility of engineering, procurement and construction and then delivers and hands over the project to the owner. In EPCM, the M refers to management and there the contractor is more like an owner's management consultant who manages the engineering, procurement and construction for the owner and the owner makes uh, directly uh, agreements or contracts with uh, uh, other contractors delivering all kinds of subsystems for the project. Okay, this was to, to kind of a start uh, of understanding of building the organization. Well, if we take two nuclear power plant projects and their organizations, which consist uh, multiple projects, uh, multiple firms. So uh, Olkiluoto and Flamanville. Olkiluoto in Finland and Flamanville in France. Uh, then we can see that actually uh, in Flamanville uh, the power company itself, Electricite de France, uh, is the integrator and makes or has made uh, the contracts directly with, uh, let's call them, equipment suppliers, Areva, Alstom, Bujox, and uh, uh, in this way uh, the EDF serves itself as a project manager. I now use the word project management for the organization. The EDF is the project manager. However, in Olkiluoto, actually, uh, the power company TVO is just a kind of a uh, buyer who has given the responsibility to make uh, the contracts to Areva. And Areva more or less is the integrator uh, in uh, Olkiluoto project. Not an equipment supplier, but uh, a project manager and integrator who is responsible for the whole uh, project. So uh, these illustrations uh, hopefully uh, characterize that we are actually forming organizations and uh, uh, giving certain assignments and responsibilities to different firms by making contracts and buying uh, sub-projects. Okay, to continue in that line, um, I have taken few pictures uh, from uh, Morris and Hoke classical book uh, of uh, the anatomy of major projects. And this is some part of the anatomy of uh, these pictures. So, uh, in the left there are multiple contractors. The owner, O, has uh, made uh, contracts with... Uh, contractors, that is those C, C letter uh, marked uh, boxes there. And then there is a management consultant and technical consultant that is supporting the owner. To the right there is a kind of a single contractor model where the owner orders uh, uh, the whole project from a kind of a project manager as Morris and Hoke call it. And uh, here we can, for example, uh, relate Arriva and Olkiluoto uh, 3 in Finland uh, 
to the project manager's uh, role. So Arriva is the project manager that takes responsibility of making all the contractions uh, with the contractors. Okay, in the next picture, uh, the management contractor really can support owner uh, to uh, do the contracting. So now we are more or less uh, referring to EPCM, where there is the M for management. And this contractor doesn't do the contracts directly with the contractors, but uh, is the kind of a owners, part of the owners organization and uh, looking for owners benefit uh, for running uh, the project for uh, the owner or supporting uh, the, the project, project's management. Uh, here, uh, we have more or less opened a little bit uh, the owner and management consultants uh, roles that the owner actually is a project manager but needs a management consultant for example for project control and managing it and also the management consultant engages in uh, en engineering procurement and, and construction uh, uh, design and also uh, controlling the execution of those areas in the project. Well, I also want to show this picture that uh, might be familiar to you already uh, from some other videos. But the important message is that uh, uh, there are multiple projects of different firms that are connected to the uh, customers, uh, final customers investment project. And uh, at the top, when you have first tier contractors, uh, there the contractors really make uh, deliveries of complete projects, complete systems and so on. So that is very project oriented. Whereas um, in the lower uh, part in the upstream of this uh, supply chain, which means that we are at the lower uh, part of the, in this picture. So there are kind of a make to order or uh, even make to stock type of deliveries. So there are just uh, small standard equipment that are delivered uh, to these higher level positioned uh, sub projects and uh, uh, even then to the final project. Okay, these kind of a hierarchical pictures that I showed you just illustrated that when we are making deals with different companies, we are buying projects and sub projects, we are actually organizing and building the organizations uh, and, and reaching out our, uh, the boundaries of our own organization to take the capabilities from uh, certain suppliers to deli deliver those parts of projects who really are best fitted for uh, doing those jobs. Let's continue uh, in the next uh, uh, videos uh, about the theme of uh, buying and uh, procuring projects and sub-projects. Um, okay, thank you for uh, being with me uh, in this uh, video. Again, let's see. Uh, I, I want, uh, will see you uh, in some of the next videos and uh, definitely we are going to discuss about these matters in class. Okay, bye bye.